we're gonna get rid of this thing. And we're gonna start the uh, skylight process. snow tomorrow. <laughs> Good time to be working on outside stuff, Liz. Ding dong. Huh. Might just leave those rivets in there. Maybe I'll grind them off. Okay, this is boring. Stop watching. Come on. Oh, it's crazy. So, all right. So, emergency hatch is out, gone forever, but these corners are rounded. So, I need to square them off so I can have a square skylight. So, I'm gonna do that with. This. It's gonna be loud. Plug your ears. What are you doing out here? I'm doing stuff in the garage. Come on, you're missing out. Working on the skylight. So I cut these pieces perfectly with and then subtracted the thickness for each length. And now I'm gonna drill them. Well, I'm gonna pre drill the holes and then put them together. I don't know. It's fun. First couple of woodcuts I've done. coat it's a new day by the way we have one coat of primer I'm gonna prime another coat and then put some caulking in there and then let her dry and maybe do some throw some rust X on the roof where I just shaved off because it is rusty I'm gonna make some progress today let's do it Stardis. Um, it's a new day yet again. I have done two coats of primer on here, sanding in between. The primer I used was just some like exterior house paint, universal primer sealer. It was just kicking around the house. And now I'm about to use this for the top coat. Nice. Let's mix it up. Oh, yesterday I took off the... Hello. Yesterday I took off those from the front of the car. I mean, bus. It's not a car. Anyways, let's mix this up. Oh, that's got some... That's nice. Okay. What the heck is that? Got some serious sediment. Zero waste here. This is precious, precious paint. Apparently. That's what my dad said. Paint everywhere.
Meow. I sanded these down inside. Nice and smooth, good to go. I'm gonna finish them inside later. They have their white coat. Um, and then I bought some butyl tape. Well, it's not butyl tape, it's... Um, extreme rubber weather seal, self-stick tape. Ace hardware. Um, it should do the trick. I don't know, it's a cool texture. So I'm putting that on right now. It's gonna be on the top latch so that when you get out, you don't uh, like rip off, rip it off. rubber washers for these but I need to have metal washers on top of those to protect them from the sun and when you cinch the screw down the rubber washers kind of like cinch up so it'll stop that so I have to go get them tomorrow another run to the somewhere maybe I'll go to Ace um then I'm gonna install it hopefully tomorrow it's so cold but I'm gonna have a skylight soon. I'll be able to look out and see the moon. Hopefully before June. <laughs> Check it out, we got my bed. Got it for free on Marketplace. Um, But today's the day. I got this all prepped. I had to bang, out, bang up the edges a little bit to get them flush with this. And we're putting it in. How am I doing this? Great question. Freestyle. Let's see if it fits. just cocked around the perimeter of this puppy to get it sealed up. Um, I used just all-purpose DAP acrylic latex cock plus silicone 40 year paint in 30 minutes flexible waterproof. Um, and so that was the first way to protect from the elements. And now I'm gonna use this. Um, it is Gorilla Tape. You can see what it is. It's super thick, super durable. So that's the next step. This is so cool, I'm stoked. But this, super sticky. This is pretty much acting as flashing for this. It's gonna go 90 degrees. Um, but this is pretty short. When it opens, I have about half an inch. You can't even see it from there because it's so low. So it's only gonna go half an inch up and then the rest is gonna go over here and cover that ugly yellow. Hope it is tall enough to keep the water out. This stuff is awesome. I'm stoked that I got it. So I had to cut some notches out for where it lines up with the hinges. Kind of messy, but we're gonna make it happen. I used exactly one roll. Like this is the end and it just perfectly fits the perimeter. I thought I was gonna have extra, but it's never the case. Just gonna run that. <laughs> if you're 
using this. Um, let your caulking dry before you put the tape on, clearly. I was too impatient for that, so I just put it on wet. And it doesn't really seal to it very well. And put a bunch of pressure on this, because like if you push it down, it oozes out and it just really gets it tight. Cool. We did it. Go for drive! Woo! Good morning. We got the sunroof sunlight hatch installed. Except for the roof, or the plexiglass on top. It's actually called Lexin. Lexar? Lexin. It's like a version of plexiglass that's supposedly shatter resistant and a little more rigid or durable than plexi. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it. Does the range go that far? I don't know. Um, but right now I'm working on getting the screws ready before I go out into the elements because it's super windy today. So we have stainless steel screws, stainless steel washer, and then this rubber washer to um, keep the water out of each hole, hopefully. So, just putting that little trio together. So it's good to go once I'm up on the roof. world it's a new day and it's a new mess up to fix my skylights way too short um, and so it's been leaking <laughs> that's why I have this ghetto tarp on top so it only sticks up about this much from the bus roof and I want it to be more so that the hinges are connected just to the wood and not sinking into the bus because I think that's where it's leaking. So I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna rip the whole skylight out, fix the whole bottom part, and hopefully it doesn't leak anymore. I'm gonna make this as painless to watch as possible. Ready, go. <laughs> skylight leaks <laughs> go figure look at that's all wet and I covered it with a tarp and it's still wet 
So this is where the hinges are. I need to put a rubber coating over the hinges because when I open it, it just dumps in. And then here, I think I need to do a little trim piece on the outside. Maybe that'll help, maybe it won't. And I'll uh, just figure it out after that. Okay, bye. Good morning. We're caffeinated and we're ready to rumble. So, I haven't showed you this because I just wanted to do it and bust it out. I'm adding this around three sides. I can't do it on the hinge side. So, it's got a little drip edge ripped into it. And then this is going to overlap the bottom part. So there's no way this is gonna leak afterwards. I hope. So I'm gonna paint it today. And um, this side, I'm gonna put in like a rubber strip that covers the hinges. I don't know, I don't know. I've taken like 11 precautions to get rid of this drippage and it's still leaking. That's what I get. I had about eight people tell me to just buy a boat hatch skylight and <laughs> pay the price and just install it, it'll be easy. And probably because I had so many people tell me to do that, I wanted to make my own. Did it turn around and bite me in the butt? No, I enjoyed the process. Okay, let's finish this skylight. Wow, after uh, watching that, I realized I didn't brush my hair today. I look crazy! It's okay, who cares? So this is the front of the bus. So I put this rubber flap with this, I painted it really poorly, but I'm gonna paint it again later. So it protects the hinges. And then on here, I added this that goes over where it joins. And then underneath that, we have the drip edge for when it rains. If this leaks, I'm gonna lose it. super soaked on the latch that I just installed. It's pretty chintzy. I'm thinking about adding two more on the two B-sides, but I don't think it's necessary. It's really tight. It'll do for now. I love the handle. That was my first handle I've ever installed. Um, that went smoothly. I have like three different videos going right now. I'm just collecting all my video stuff as I go. Um, yeah, I've put the fan in. Got some insulation in, some walls, electrical. There's a lot going on at once. I got the heater ripping. The heater works. Work, <laughs> the heater works now. So I don't know what's coming next, but thanks for tagging along with that. I hope it wasn't too painful to watch um, the redo of everything, but I wanted to put that in there just to show like not everything's perfect. Anything that you put in, you can take out and it's worth it in the long run to me i don't know i don't know just spitting some spitting some wise knowledge over here till next time